are looking at what another warm day today another warm one today mm -hmm. you know we had temperatures get into the mid 90s yesterday yeah, we'll we do did. it again today <laughs> Down the south, it almost hit 100 in Ooh. College Station. So, I mean, we're talking about some warm weather, especially by September standards. In fact, by the time we get past this weekend, it is possible we've etched ourselves in history as one of the top five hottest Septembers on record here in Central Texas. So just continuing to knock down those heat stats here in 2023. The Syntex Roof Systems camera in Harker Heights giving you a quiet view this morning. Live Radar Network quiet as well. Reason we're so warm, well, that jet stream well to the north, we have the uh, upper jet stream there, the lower jet stream trying to get going, but not quite active. And so as a result, we're quiet right now. Showers, thunderstorms over towards Portland, Oregon, down towards Florida and over towards Chicago. We need that jet stream to dip a little bit before we can get any sort of cooler, more fall like air in here. Lower 70s out there right now. That's where we're starting your Wednesday, which, by the way, is above normal. 82 by 10 o'clock, 88 by noon and we're in the mid 90s this afternoon that 88 at noon. That's where we should be in the afternoon. So we're running about five to 10 degrees above normal here once again this afternoon record, by the way, 106 in 1977. Not going to see that, but it is a sign that, you know, it does get hot sometimes in September in Central Texas and then tonight dipping down to the upper 60s. Future track shows you there may be an isolated shower down in the Brazos Valley today, but I think the models being a little over aggressive for that. And then we go through the rest of the week. It looks quiet showers staying down along the coastline. Look at this dip in the jet stream this trying to make its way towards us as we get into the end of next week. Won't bring a huge cool down, but maybe some isolated showers and thunderstorms possible here as we get into Thursday, Friday, maybe even Saturday of next week, and hopefully a little bit of cooler air. Not going to be that nice fall crisp feel that we need, but hey, it's going to knock us down to the lower 90s there for the second half of next week. Morning lows go down in the 70s, and maybe we'll add a little bit more in those rain gauges like we do need.